Hi, I'm. Oop, is it on? Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Casey, um, and we are a part of Engineers.sg. Um, and Shintian, uh, Sharon is actually not here today, so we're just gonna we're gonna tag team it, okay? <laughs> so a little bit about Engineers.sg. So they're the first, or they're the only. Um, organization that actually had a platform. Uh, what they do is they go to all the different meetups um, from you know developers and other engineers and they record the meetups because sometimes um, other developers just have to go home and they can't always go out to to all the meetups and there's there's quite a lot in Singapore so um, they do an amazing job of going out and recording so that people can view all the meetups online. And um, our, our team was really awesome because we had the, the baldy, baldy buddies. So our two coaches or our mentors are Michael and Ted. So Michael's right there and he's doing the, uh, he's got that cool, cool video going on already. Unfortunately, Ted could not be here as well. He's in, is he in Sweden? Yeah, so he's in Sweden. He sends um, great pictures into the Slack channel and makes us all feel jealous. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm Casey, um, and Sharon is not here, and Shin Tian is this lovely lady right here. Um, so they did have a couple of, um, actually a handful of problems um, with the existing platform. So users were unable to get notified when any new videos came up, and they tended to um, upload them quite often. Um, they had no idea to, to know what was coming up. There are a lot of different um, events that go on throughout the, throughout the country every week, and there was no way for them to, to keep track of all the events that engineers.sg was going to be at. Um, users were also unable to search videos by category. Um, there was no social interaction on each video. And the loading of the site was pretty slow. And if you're an engineer, you want things to move really quickly. So here are some of the tools that we were used. So Ruby, and then Ruby on Rails, um, Postgres, Trello um, was to keep track of you know, the tasks. Uh, Slack was used for our communications, and we still use that. And then GitHub was also used. It was our version control system. And um, so we'll talk about the first um, thing that was that we tried to fix, which was that the users weren't able, were unable to get notified of the videos. So one of the solutions was to um, actually integrate a newsletter sign-up um, using a MailChimp API. And if you don't know what an API is, it's kind of like if you are um, trying to talk to a different uh, system. So that doesn't happen automatically. You actually have to physically code it in there and make sure that two different technologies are talking to each other. And that's what we did. Um, actually, Shintian was part of the, what you see right here is actually what she worked on. So in Rails, there are three different um, parts to the architecture for the technology. So you have the model. Um, I guess the best way for me to explain what the model is, is if your mom tells you to do something. So <laughs> that's how I explain the model. Then there's also the controller. So the controller part um, that you have to code is actually um, you telling a different technology or a different database what to do. So it's like your mom, um, you know, your, you tell your mom what, or your mom tells you what to do in the model. In the controller, you actually go out and do it. And then the view is actually when you go out and you tell everybody that you did this awesome thing that your mom told you to do. So that's how I explained the view, which is what Shin Tian did here in creating um, the, the newsletter sign up. So um, walking through it, you would actually type in your name and your email and hit that submit button. So once the submit button goes in, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so once the submit button goes in, it actually goes to MailChimp and tells them, hey, we have this new, new person into our system, but it also tells our database that that person is in the system. Whereas if you just did an embed, um, which many people do on websites, it's really just going, um, going into MailChimp's database. It's not really talking to your system or your database. 
Um, the other problem that we needed to solve was that users um, didn't have any idea of the events coming up. Um, there was like a really small little link at the bottom, is that right? Correct? But um, it really wasn't visible and people didn't really click on it. So um, we built an events calendar um, using an API from webuild.sg. And so what we did was pulled all the information that was already readily available on one of the sites and just kind of like, it's kind of like cheating and pulling it in <laughs> into our, our site. Um, we also put in um, a Google Maps and that was a lot of fun. I actually went down to um, Hackerspace with Michael and um, that was really fun. And um, we also made it um, so that people could actually see how many people were already going. Because people always want to go, they don't want to be the first person there. They want to know that other people are going. Um, so we built this events calendar. Um, do you want to do this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I will move, I will pass this off to Shintian. Okay, so the third problem that are faced by uh, engineering.sg is uh, users unable to search videos by category. So what we did is actually we add in a videos uh, tagging system for admin. So this is basically the admin page of uh, engineers.sg. So you can see uh, at the bottom of the page, we add in a, a place for us to key in the tags. So this is basically the tag list. So after key in, after we save, it will appear just below the videos. So this is the videos page. You will see uh, there's a few tags appearing on beside of the page. So when you click on the tag, we link it over to all the videos with the same tags. Yeah, so this is basically what we did with the uh, video tagging. So the fourth one um, is there is no social interaction of each video, so which uh, I actually add in a Facebook comments uh, uh, column. So this one is if let's say you are not logged in um, in Facebook during the time being when you want to comment, they will prompt you to actually uh, log in. So the last issue is actually uh, with the loading of the website is slightly slow. So what we did is actually we did. Uh, a fragment uh, caching. <laughs> so for those who don't know what is uh, cache, it's actually, for example, today um, you need to go for mathematics exam. So you know that you have to study for, for example, algorithms. So imagine you have a very thick textbook. So every time you want to go to that particular chapter, you have to flip through all the things and go to that particular chapter, which is very slow and time consuming. Okay, so, um, what you will do alternatively is you will put a bookmark. So when you need the page, you can just flip over to that page. So, so this is what basically a cache is. For information that we need to load uh, oftenly, we will put in a primary storage uh, as cache. So every time when we retrieve it, we will don't have to go back to the main database and retrieve it, which will improve the loading of the web page. Okay. Yeah. So this is basically what we have did for the past uh, eight weeks. So yeah, Michael really put in, Michael and the volunteers really put in a lot of effort in uh, engineer.sg. So if let's say you feel like contributing to this project, you can just, yeah, for the repository from this uh, link. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.